but Psalm 26. David wrote it down so we can sing it out, sing it out. It's how David fought his battle. It's how we can fight too. It's how David fought his battle and it's how he fought. over you. I'm going to see if we are live yet. Uh, I'm going to be on Facebook and I am, oh, there we are. All right. And I'm going to be on Facebook and I'm also going to be on YouTube. All right. Hello, Kelly Grace. I love your name. Kelly Grace overflowing. Wow. That's good. And Claudia. Hello, Sarah. Uh, it's so good to see everybody. I know I've been traveling. I've been gone for a while. Do me a favor. If you're on Facebook, press your share button. And I like to say, don't scroll and roll because I want to pray for you tonight. And I want to just give you any words of encouragement that I feel from the Lord for you. I love doing that. Hello, Sandra. Um, anyway... So, uh, and I'm also on YouTube, so if you're on YouTube, press uh, subscribe so that you will know when we are on. And I don't know if I, s I don't know if I see you yet on YouTube. Um, so anyway, but if you are on YouTube, it should be popping up fairly soon. Nope, it's not that. All right. But we are going to go, oh, there we are, there we are. All right, all right, here we are on YouTube. Uh, on YouTube, hello, so hello, Nick and Matt, is it Matt? And Marcella, I love that name. And Elisa, hello, and Esther, man, there's some great names on here. Good morning from Myanmar, that is amazing. Uh, as you get on, do me a favor, if you're on Facebook, press your share button. If you are on YouTube, press subscribe, and you will know when we are uh, on for YouTube. And I would love for all of us, even if you're on Facebook, I love it that we've got Esther from Myanmar on. So you guys, Nick and Matt and Marcella and Elisa and even my Facebook people, let's encourage Esther from Myanmar. Um, I love that. And let me know where you're watching from. So I love it when the nations get on, or I just love being able to be in my little studio and coming to you 
with what I hope is encouraging Psalm 26 tonight. But if you get any words of encouragement for Esther, uh, let's pray for Esther tonight. And of course, Esther, I mean, your name is a historic name, and it's one of my favorite books of the Bible. I love the book of, um, I love that book of Esther and how she was such a young, she had such simple faith. She did every single thing that um, uh, whoever was over all of the young maidens that would go to be with the king, um, every single thing that he told her to do, she did. And we know the story of Esther. She's the young girl that is chosen, that the king simply adored and loved. And then we've got Haman, who's trying to kill her people. And what I love is her uncle Mordecai, when he comes to the gate and he says, you've got to go to the king because there is a great war where Haman wants to completely eradicate the Jewish people. And much like is happening today, that, that there's such an anti-Semitic spirit. Um, so I'm just, I prophesy over you, Esther, that even in the place of prayer, I feel like even in your place of prayer, just like the authority that was given to Esther that you have great authority before the Lord. I feel like you have an old soul. I feel like when you pray, it or, well, it, all of us when we pray, it arises before the Lord. Um, but I feel like um, Esther, he's just waiting to say yes. He's just waiting to say yes. I, I feel like you are an, an intercessor, that your voice, though might be quiet on the earth. Maybe you have a, 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 a high soprano -y voice, not, not for sure, but your voice is a thunderous sound in heaven. And I just want to say, so Esther, pray those prayers. Pray those prayers. And, and as, as, um, as Rick Taylor says quite often, he, I'm from the Healing Rooms Apostolic Center, Santa Maria, California, and he says, you're not, you're not praying big enough. You're not praying big enough. So bigger, Esther, bigger. And uh, anyway, I bless you. I bless you, Esther. Uh, I love that. So anyone, anyone that is, um, um, you know, if you have a word for Esther, just type it in there or even type it in your Facebook and I'll get it to her. So I just want to sing Psalm 26 over you. If you like this psalm, please check out my Into the River mentorship where we are singing our way through the psalms and also talking. We have weekly Bible studies where we, 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 we study the psalms, but also things that are happening in our life today finding the instructions in the psalm and how to posture our heart before the Lord so that we don't get bitter and, and that he actually gives us um, beautiful instructions and guidance and how to set our heart before the Lord in all of these things that are happening in the earth. So check out intotheriver.net. Let me see if I can, maybe we can put that on there. Uh, check that out. I'd love to have you part of our mentorship where we do weekly Bible studies. I have a 24 seven worship radio with over 85 hours, mostly singing from the Psalms. So you can just put it on in your house and you've got the word of God. It's not my words. It's the word of God that we're singing through. And maybe about every so often we do a live interactive class with different uh, leaders. And anyway, so um, 
I want to sing Psalm 26 over you. And what I love about Psalm 26 is that David is surrounded by enemies. You know, that's the story of his life. And, and what he does is he said, Lord, this is his prayer. Um, and if you feel that surrounded, you know, I mean, like, heck, all of us are surrounded. If, some, if, if somebody doesn't like your post on Facebook, my goodness, you get surrounded. Um, or X or whatever. But David is surrounded. But what his prayer to God is, this is how we posture our heart today. If you're in a battle, if you're in trouble, we can do what David did. And what he he said is, God, I'm leaning on you. But in this season where slander about my character and my name is going forth in the middle of my trouble, he actually, this is a bold prayer. In the middle of his trouble, he says, God, I don't want to miss out on this trial. So refine me in the middle of it. And he says, know my thoughts in the middle of it. And he says, prove my mind and my heart like in the middle of trouble. Oh my gosh, that's a, that is a bold prayer. So anyway, again, if you're on Facebook, press your share button. If you are on YouTube, press subscribe. Don't scroll and roll. I want to pray for you or just uh, minister any words of encouragement that I, I just feel from the Lord and just bless you tonight as we walk through these crazy times. And again, check out my mentorship, intotheriver.net. I would love to be able to have you guys on board for that. Psalm 26, a psalm of David. Lord, I pray this psalm. I sing this psalm too. David prays, vindicate me. Oh, my Lord, for
light of your presence and vindicate me, oh my Lord, for I lean on you. No, my thought, come refine. thinking about 
about? What are they thinking about? You know, we can hide our thoughts from people, but we can't hide our thoughts from God. No, we can't. No, we can't. And he's like, I'm looking at your thoughts. Do you know that Nick Anderson? Do you know that Alex? He's looking at your thoughts. Janet, let me go over here. Oh, Penny Hayes, he's looking at your thoughts. Um, Dee Cummings and Renee and Heather and Angie. Mm, and I need one more and Kathy. He's looking at our thoughts in the middle of trouble. He's refining us in the middle of the battle just like David prayed God I guess we'll pray it too I guess we'll pray it too I guess we'll pray it too okay once again here's our here's our chorus from Psalm 26 Psalm 26 Psalm 26 we're gonna pray it tonight it's our prayer it's a cry we give you permission we give you permission to refine us, to know our thoughts, to prove our heart. In the middle of trouble, in the middle of the storm, in the middle of battle, we are yours. That was good. In the middle of trouble, in the middle of the storm, in the middle of the battle, we are yours. Oh, you guys, I like that. In the middle of trouble, in the middle of the storm, in the middle of the battle, we are yours. We're, we're, your, we're his. Penny, in the middle of the battle, we're his. All right. Uh, if you, you guys, hello, I'm singing Psalm 26 over you tonight, reminding all of us, don't waste a good battle. Don't waste a good swirl of trouble, a good swirl of slander. Let it do its work because the Lord promises, just like David said, he, David prays this prayer in the midst of battle where people are really killing each other. And he says, God, refine me. I mean, don't just keep me safe, but refine me and mold me and know my thoughts in the middle of a battle. Prove, prove my mind and prove my heart. You guys, that's a scary prayer. All right, if you're on Facebook tonight, press your share button so that this can go out. It is Psalm 26. You guys, it is a scary prayer because a lot of times in the midst of my trouble, I just want help. But David is praying, send your help, but also send refining. We don't ever get a pass from refinement. He refines in the trouble and he refines in the storm. He refines in the heartbreak. He refines through it all. That's a good, that's a good little chorus to you guys. All right, I like to say don't scroll and roll because I want to pray for you tonight. Let me know where you're watching from. I love the different states. Sometimes I find people that don't live far from me. Um, and I say, hey, come visit us at the healing rooms in Santa Maria. And I get to meet people. It's awesome. So, and also, please check out our online worship community, intotheriver.net. Um, join that. We have over 85 hours of worship where we're singing straight from the Psalms. 
Most of this, I believe, I'm singing from the Passion Translation, but I also throw in the New Living Translation and the Amplified, because I love different translations. But you can just turn that radio on, and it's just the word, the word, the word, the word, and we also release different hymns. I think we've recorded about 20 or 25 hymns. Um, so join into the river.net. We have live weekly Bible studies where we just connect. And I don't know, every so often we do a live interactive class with different leaders. Um, but I would love to have you a part of that. And we encourage each other in the word, through the Psalms, bringing in some of the New Testament with what we're actually facing now in the earth. Because the Bible is, it's alive. And it's not just for yesterday, it's for today. It never, ever fades. It never goes away. The Word of God. I love what Hebrews 4 says, For the Word of God is alive and full of living power. Power, power. Amen. So sing this. Psalm 26. And I believe most of this is out of the Passion Translation, so you've got to read it out of there. So, all right, so Heather, Heather Harper, and Ella Ware, I love that, from Alabama. And I remember prophesying over you with your name. And Heather and Renee, how do I say that? Renee, Com how do I say your second name? And Lyman, is it? Is it? Okay, look, hold on, hold on a second. Let me get my readers, and then I can see better, all right? A Linton, Linton, and um, Renee, all right, and Tracy, Ray Arts, oh, I like that, and Penny Hayes, um, and Renee said, such a precious anointing. I'm, I'm so glad, I'm so, I'm so glad. So Renee, um, when, I, uh, when I saw your name before I put on my readers, I thought it said Lyman, L-I, not lemon, but Lyman. And last week I was just visiting my granddaughter in, um, in uh, Colorado Springs, but it was reminding me when our whole family lived in, uh, we lived in Denver, we lived in Westminster, Arvada also. We lived there from 90 to 94, and when we would drive home to uh, Kansas, we would always drive through Lyman. And I know that that's not your last name, but I'm going somewhere with this, because I feel like, I just feel like this is for you, Renee. Now, Lyman was a beautiful, it was, it was like your last stop. You're still in Colorado, but it's your last stop stop before you hit Kansas and once you hit the Kansas border it is just it is flat for hundreds of miles I believe it's flat there's nothing to see um, where I live in Wamego it's fields and valleys and it's uh, I live on a farm, lived, grew up on a farm on, on, on a hill, and it's beautiful. Uh, but western Kansas is, most people kind of joke about it being flat. And it is. It's just flat for miles. So, um, but Lyman is that last stop. Now, Lyman is also the place that can get the most winds. Um, it's actually been known to host or whatever word you want to use, use uh, tornadoes can actually touch down there. I'm not going to the negative though. This is what I feel for you because most people that are traveling right, you know, down interstate I-70, most people know um, Lyman. And I just feel like, Renee, your life it, it, it's, it's almost like what I remember of that city. When you reach Lyman, it's like people begin in their cars. When you reach Lyman, that's where you start looking for the mountains. And that's when you can start uh, seeing the mountain snow caps. And I feel like for you, Renee, and I'm just, you know, I, I always say I feel because I'm just kind of 
if I get this picture in my mind, I like to just give it out. But I just, I feel like, Renee, that you, when people get around you, I feel like it's almost like the winds of God just swirl around you. And when people are in your presence, even if you're in the store, and I want you to be aware of this in a greater way, I just feel like that what, what you bring is you bring a steadiness and excitement a, and it's, there, there's an immovable presence about you that no matter how the winds are blowing, you, Renee, you stay steady. Uh, I feel like there's been a lot of really hard things in your life that you just stayed steady. And so when the winds blow in other people's life, you actually provide for them this steady, this steady. You know, uh, the Psalms, all over the Psalms, it talks about God being steady. Uh, he's our high place. He's our shelter. Like even in Psalm 20 or Psalm 18 says that, that the, the Lord is our high place. In Psalm 59, it says, you, you, you put me in your high place and you make me out of reach. I'm so high up that I'm out of reach from the enemy. And I just, I feel like that's what you bring that the Lord is so pleased with your life and you just bring that steady, immovableness in the midst of storms, in the midst of mighty winds. And I feel like those mighty winds, you in your life have learned how to lean into the wind and it makes you stronger. You know, growing up on the farm, if there was a big wind, that's what you learned. You learned to walk, but lean into it. And that's what actually kept us standing up. And let's, of course, it's a tornado, and then you just go to the basement. But I'm not talking about tornadoes. I'm, and I just say, you are precious. You are precious, Renee. Thank you for your steady life in God. I love that. Don't you love that? That could actually be for all of us, for every single one of us. Alex, hello, Lex, and Ella Ware. Let me go back to YouTube and find, I gotta get my readers on you guys. Lord, I would love for you to heal my eyes so that I wouldn't have to wear readers, but that could be vanity of vanities. All right, if you're just getting on, press your share button on Facebook. Let me know where you're watching from. Let me know how I can pray for you. And on, on YouTube, if you're just getting on, press the subscribe button and that little bell so that you will know when we're on. And I try and get on every Wednesday around this time, but um, uh, I've been traveling. So anyway, uh, Deanna, she said, I just relocated, still in transition and process. So Lord, we just pray for Deanna. Deanna Beloved. I love your name. Is it Deanna? Deanna? Lord, I just pray right now that you would open the doors in Deanna's life, um, this transition that she's in. And I pray that you would open the doors for some faithful friends. I pray that you would surprise Deanna with faithful friends friends. And I pray that you would keep her steady, keep her leaning into those winds of transition. And I just hear the word upgrade. There's an upgrade coming for you, Deanna. There's an upgrade coming and there's faithful friends in the wings, ready, just ready. It's like, I just see such beautiful friendships in this transition. All right, that's good. And Nick Anderson, I need God to move. Please pray. So, Lord, we pray for Nick Anderson tonight. Um, and I've seen your name before. We just pray, Lord, that you, God, would, uh, he said, I need God to move. Move on his behalf. Move on Nick's behalf. And, Nick, I really feel like uh, this, this psalm is for you. 
Um, maybe um, it's almost like I want to say that you literally can stand before the Lord and say to the Lord, I have walked in your truth. You've seen all my behind the scenes. And um, I know, I know, it's like my family loves to remind me that it's 6.30. I'm not done, you guys. Um, well, hey, my husband, get on and I'll prophesy to you. Just kidding. So, um, Nick, it's almost like you, I feel like you are so faithful behind the scenes that you have given God a multitude of yes, God, yes, yes. That is my thing right now. It's not about your public ministry. It never is because it could be here one minute and gone the next. What counts is all those little tiny yeses that nobody will ever see. And I just see this mountain of yeses in your life. I just see this mountain of yeses in your life. And today, uh, when we had our Bible study earlier, we had a Bible study and I talked a little bit about Psalm 12. And again, sign up for our intotheriver.net online worship community. I would love to have you. Oh no, actually, let me look it up on here. Um, Psalm, because it was out of the... It was Psalm 12, out of the passion. This is where I see. I want you to go down to, um, this is the Lord for you. This is your word. It's Psalm 12, and it starts in verse 5. And the first two verses, it's literally what's happening in the earth. Where are the faithful? The faithful men are falling. And we are seeing it by the exposure that is the Holy Spirit in the earth. Um, but then what happens in verse 5, he says, the Lord says, and I believe the Lord says this to you, um, Nick, now I will arise. I will defend the poor, those who were plundered, the oppressed, and the needy who groaned for help. This is for you right now. And he says, I will spring into action and rescue and protect them. And I just feel like, and this could be a lot of people, Nick, that the Lord says to you what I feel. Uh, I'm going to spring into action for you. I don't know what that means. I don't know what you need, but I just see, and, and the word I'm going to spring into action means suddenly. There's a suddenly where, bam, what wasn't open before is opened. What didn't look like um, uh, open doors before is opened. What, what the, the trauma of friendship, now it's subsided to where there is a loving uh, friendship without the swirl of drama. But I believe that, Nick, Psalm 12, that that I love how out of the passion, I will spring into action. Psalm 12, out of the passion translation, that is your verse. Nick, and I just want to encourage you, take it and go, thank you, God. Thank, thank you for springing into action. Thank you for watching over me, God. Thank you for springing into to action God you're gonna do what you do what you do you're gonna do what you do what you do you're gonna surprise Nick you're gonna surprise Nick you're gonna spring into action and surprise Nick and you know why he's gonna do that because of the mountain of faithfulness, all of those little yeses that man never sees, that they will never know about. But guess what? Man's eyes don't count. Only God's does. And that's why in this season, Nick, he 
the Lord is going to spring into action for you. There might be a lot of people out there that needs God to spring into action. And I just sing that over you tonight. All right. Again, if you're on Facebook, press your share button. I sang Psalm 26. Go back and listen to it and just get that chorus down and know that this is what we've got to know. We, we could be in a really hard time. This last year, my grandson was fighting leukemia and I had to look at bags of chemotherapy dripping into my grandson and I didn't like it. And this this, it was a, man, it was a heartache. It was a wrestle. You know, I would just pray the Bible, but I didn't get a, you know, like I didn't get excluded from refinement. He was still refining. He was still looking at my thoughts. He was still, the Lord, Holy Spirit was looking at my heart, wanting to make me more into uh, what Jesus looks like, even in heart break, even in trouble, even in battle, we don't ever get a pass for refinement or molding or the Holy Spirit coming in and working in us. He does it all, all the time and every day. So, all right, again, uh, check out our intotheriver.net mentorship. It's intotheriver.net. And um, I'm going to say au revoir for now. I'm going to continue to pray for you if I get anything tonight. And, and again, it's just, uh, I might just see a little picture, and it's just a word of encouragement from the scriptures. Um, that that's that's what we're all we're supposed to encourage each other in the Lord. So I'm just encouraging you in the uh, in the scriptures because I love the Bible and I love Jesus. So anyway, I'm going to say au revoir, and I will be on a week from tonight again with another psalm. And so look for us and check out into the river dot net come join us on this journey where we encourage each other in the lord also i'm part of the healing rooms apostolic center in santa maria california uh, if you are close come join us monday nights we have our monday night meeting it's our big meeting we uh, meet at six p.m pacific time if you're not close you can web stream and i'll encourage you to web stream there are amazing meetings and we also have meetings tuesday wednesday and thursday uh, at uh, pacific time um, where we will have worship and then a word of encouragement thursdays you can actually sign up for the prophecy teams um, you can also um, sign up for um, healing and prophecy online if you go to healingroomssmv.com I'll try and put that up here and hi Sophia Jesus loves princess Sophia he loves you so very much Jesus loves Princess Sophia. He, I can't think of a, I can't think of a wrong. He loves you so very much. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Uh, uh, uh. All right, Sophia, everybody wants to hear you say. So stay in acting and stay in vocal lessons. Sophia, everybody say hi to Sophia. She's going to come visit me in June. And Sophia is my number one granddaughter, and my number one grandson is Shia the fan. Man, um, be praying for Shia because tomorrow he goes in again for his monthly spinal tap, and he's seven. So anyway, he's been having monthly spinal taps since 
February, like mid-February of last year, not even this year, of a year ago. Uh, and last month it was harder on him. So if you would just lift up Shia, I'm going to say, pray. Pray for Shia Meyer. I will let you know how he does. He is, uh, he'll be going in to that uh, spinal tap tomorrow. So pray, because last month he had a hard time with it. But anyway, I'm going to say of wa hello, Angie, thank you so much. And thank you, everyone. Pray for Shia. Uh, let me put up this um, at Healing Rooms S. I believe uh, that's where you can go to and there you go you can go right into the healing rooms and or you can watch us also on YouTube and you can also go into here if I can find it um, not local oh so if you just scroll down and it says in-person ministry you can sign up for healing if you need healing we've had scores and scores of amazing testimonies of people the lord touching and healing even oh just just as people agree with you and pray from you from the bible uh, you can also sign up for online prophecy these are through zooms and you have this wonderful team that my friend sabrina walsh has trained and they will just minister to you encouragement from the bible so and we can all use more of that so anyway i'm going to say au revoir you guys are amazing and i'll see you next